In the world of genetically modified foods, there's two types of science, corporate science and independent science. Corporate science is science in the corporate interest, not in the consumer interest. Monsanto tells us, trust us, we're experts, our GM foods are safe. This is the same company that told us PCBs were safe, Agent Orange was safe, DDT was safe, and now they're telling us that our genetically modified foods are safe. And how they do it is amazing. For example, when they wanted to say that pasteurization destroys the bovine growth hormone in the milk, scientists, scientists, pasteurize the milk 120 times longer than normal. When Monsanto wanted to say that their genetically modified soy was substantially equivalent to non-GM soy, they left key data out of their study which showed that their GM soy had as much as seven times the amount of a known allergen. Here's my favorite. When Monsanto was trying to introduce their genetically modified high lysine corn, they said that this new protein has a history of safe use in the food supply, so it's safe because this protein is naturally found in soil and we obviously eat soil in the residues on fruits and vegetables. So, a scientist called their bluff and figured out how much corn an average male American would eat and how much of that protein he would be eating. And then calculated how much soil he'd have to eat. Someone would have to eat 22,000 pounds of soil every second, 24 hours a day. These guys have bad science down to a science. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. They use the wrong control group, the wrong statistical method, the wrong detection method. Here's the point. We can't trust the same scientists that told us that PCBs were safe, that DDT was safe, that Agent Orange was safe. We need to look at independent studies by independent scientists that aren't trying to prove a point. And they're finding that GMOs are quite unsafe. So ignore the corporate science, Look to the independent scientists and choose non-GMO foods.